Hey there! Today we are gonna finally settle this battle between training for strength and training for size. I'm pretty sure that you can name some differences between these training methods off the top of your head, right? But I'm pretty sure that some of the things that we are gonna go over today are going to be very unexpected for you. So have a seat on my bench and let's go! First of all, we need to look a bit closer on both of the training styles. Strength training is obviously focused more on heavy one rep maxes and the neurological adaptations that you are gonna go through to achieve those impressive one rep max heavy lifts. On the other hand, training for size or otherwise known as hypertrophy is focusing on how your physique looks and not that much on the amount of weight that you can lift. But the thing that I want to emphasize the most is that even if you are training purely to get bigger, you will still need to get stronger because you need to progressively overload to build muscle. And if your focus is just to get stronger, you will also build some size in the process. Not that much as if you were only focusing on size, but you will still gain some size regardless. These two things are connected together. Usually the heavier you are, the more weight you can lift. That's why we have weight classes in sports. For example powerlifting or any other combat sport. When you look at powerlifters in the heavyweight classes, you will see that they just look fat, right? I mean, this can be true to an extent, but underneath that fat is still a crap ton of muscle. It's not like your Uncle Joe who weighs 300 pounds and says that he could bench press more than you. To be fair, he probably could. Your body weight is a big factor when it comes to the lifts like bench press, squat, deadlift and overhead press. But that's not a reason to get discouraged. It's all relative strength. If you weigh 150 pounds and you can bench 225, that's pretty good. You can bench more than your body weight. But if your Uncle Joe comes to the gym and loads like 250 on the bar while his body weight is 300 pounds and successfully lifts it, is he really stronger than you? Yeah, he lifted more than you, but if you look at it in a different way, he didn't even lift his body weight. That's why we have weight classes and that's why you shouldn't compare yourself to others. It's all relative strength. Um, I went a little bit on a tangent, so back to the training for strength versus training for size. Now let's see what's the difference between these two styles when it comes to sets and reps. In strength training, the rep ranges are generally on the low end. 1 to 6 reps is considered the standard for strength training. And as you can probably guess, the number of sets is also on the lower end, if we count just the actual working sets. Because the sets that you are performing are very taxing, both physically and mentally. And to do these sets you need to be ready to perform. It's not like when you are doing a set of tricep pushdowns, where your fatigue levels don't really impact your performance that much. But if we look at the hypertrophy training, we can see that moderate rep ranges like 8 to 12 are very popular here. Generally the 5 to 30 rep range is where you want to be to build size. The number of sets is also way higher than in strength training. On average it's 10 to 20 sets per muscle group per week. Now that we know all about the sets and reps, let's see what's the difference in the rest periods. There is a lot of memes about powerlifters resting between the sets and they are actually pretty accurate. It's completely normal to rest 5 plus minutes between the sets. It's all about quality over quantity. You really need to be fully rested to perform your best. So next time you see a sleeping bag next to a squad rack, you know that it's not even worth asking the guy how many sets he got left. However, when you are chasing size, the rest periods can be as short as 30 seconds, all the way to roughly 3 to 4 minutes. If you are curious about that, check out my video about rest times, where I go a bit more in depth. The reason why the rest periods can be very short is because some exercises are not really that taxing for your body. For example, if you are doing a set of calf raises, you don't really have to rest 5 minutes. The muscle is so small that you can pretty much do your next set when you get rid of the lactic acid in your muscles. Which, as I said previously, can be as quick as 30 seconds. When we are already talking about the exercises, let's see what exercises are used to build strength and what exercises are used to gain more size. Strength training focuses on the compound lifts, so squats, deadlifts, bench press and overhead press. These exercises recruit multiple muscle groups simultaneously, that's why they are very taxing when using heavy loads. These exercises are also used when trying to build more size, but they are usually done with 5 plus reps per set. 
But even when they are done in higher rep ranges, they can still be very taxing. This is why I don't really recommend doing the deadlift when your sole focus is only on building size. As the amount of fatigue that you get from doing it is very high and the actual gains that you get from it are negligible when compared to how much fatigue it costs you. I hear you, I hear you, I know that I'm recommending deadlifts to complete beginners, but the only reason that I'm doing it is so that they can learn the proper technique that's then going to carry over to other hip hinge movements like Romanian deadlift or hip thrust. That's why it's important that you know how to perform the deadlift, but after you are familiar with the technique, there is no reason to keep doing it after that. Alright, let's go back to the exercises for building size. These are usually various types of isolation exercises, but that doesn't mean that you should forget about the basic exercises like bench press or overhead press. They are still very important. But keep in mind that you are not a power lifter, most likely. So there is no point in doing one rep maxes, as it can be very dangerous and it's simply not needed if you are all about just sculpting your physique. Anyways, now that we know almost everything, let's see how training frequency differentiates between training for strength and training for size. And after that, we will dive into the nutritional differences. There is a lot of different training styles that are being used, so I don't want to throw out some random numbers, but generally, the number of days per week between training for strength and training for size can be very similar. Obviously, you will not be training 6 times per week when your main focus is strength training, but something like a 3 to 4 days per week schedule can be used in both training styles. The only difference being that if you are training for strength, your overall volume is going to be lower than if you trained for size. But even though the volume is lower, the level of intensity and fatigue of those exercises is going to be way higher when training for strength. Because powerlifters and such are usually using weight that is very close to their 1 rep max. Which is not really the case when training only for size because you need to be training in higher rep ranges relatively to what powerlifters are doing. And to achieve higher reps, you need to select a weight that is suitable for that goal. Now let's look into the differences in nutrition. Both groups obviously need to get an adequate amount of protein every day. That's given. Besides that, the people that want to lift the most weight are usually stuffing their face with crap ton of calories to get to a higher body weight. Remember Uncle Joe? Because as we have learned today, the more you weigh, the more weight you can lift. On the flip side, the people that are after gaining size are usually in a small calorie surplus. But this can vary depending on what your goal is exactly. So these are all the differences between training for strength and training for size. Are you personally training for strength or for size? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, a big thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. I truly appreciate it. Did you like this video? Then you will for sure like this one too.